Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to the Earth Tones Girl channel. My name is Denise, and I think this is episode 82. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I am so, so happy to be here with you all today. It is February. It is Thursday, February 29th. Happy Leap Day to everyone. I was determined to get an episode out today. Um, because there's so much to catch you up on before March 1st, and I really wanted to have an episode up on a leap day. <laughs> I know I'm a bit of a geek, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, so welcome back, everybody. Um, to returning viewers, I am so happy that you're here. To If there are any new viewers, which there are quite a few, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is my earthy space to share with you all. Um, and to just be me and share my love of just about everything in particular, sock knitting. And what is happening right now that is the really, really super big thing. Uh, my last episode is a really short episode and I just popped on to announce that the I Love Books and Sock Knitting Cal was happening. Yay! <laughs> uh, I have set that all up on Instagram. I've set up the Ravelry group. I went into Ravelry. For those of you that use Ravelry and have used it with me in the past, um, I went in and cleaned up and archived all of my old stuff. It was just time to clean it up. No, there'd really been no activity in that site for a couple of years now. And I had put up a notice um, in the description on that page that the group was inactive. Um, but I was leaving all of the information there for reference purposes. I decided to archive it all and just start with a clean slate. And I feel like it's this little hive. Of course, I have to make a beehive reference because of my beekeeping. Um, it, the, it feels like a little hive that is just buzzing and humming with activity. And if you don't know about the cowl, I will be hosting a I Love Books and Sock Knitting Cowl. 2024 and that will be starting tomorrow it kicks off tomorrow march 1st and oh my gosh just excited doesn't even begin to cover it so uh, all of the details are in my last episode i will link for you um i will link to that in the description box down below and yeah so the cal starts tomorrow i have um what do i want to tell you i will be going live on Instagram tomorrow at about 10.30, give or take two minutes, um, just to have a little launch party, uh, a little kickoff party. So I'm really excited about that. And if you also are following me here, I know not everybody can see the community board, but um, I'm hoping that most of you have gotten or seen that I have a motivation marker that is has been customized for the cowl and I have it here. Let me see, I have it on a pair of socks that I'm currently working on, but I think you'll be able to see. But anyway, that motivation marker goes on sale tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everything is in Eastern Standard Time. So live on Instagram about 10.30 tomorrow morning and the motivation marker will go on sale tomorrow at 2 p.m. And the cal starts tomorrow also. Um, how do you join? I get that question a lot. How do you join the cal? The, which is which means knit along. Interestingly enough, there were a few people that asked asked in the comments what cal means, K A L, and it means knit along. So I apologize for assuming that everybody knew what that meant. Um, and basically, this one is strictly participatory, which is what I said in the last episode. It's just for all of us to come together and share our love of books and sock knitting. That's it. So tomorrow, wherever you are in the world, at the stroke of midnight, you can start your book. You can start your socks. If you are already listening to a book and listening, listening to a book and knitting a pair of socks, just keep going. <laughs> There is no pressure. There is. I want this to be as pressure-free as possible. All types of socks are welcome. All types of books are welcome. I tend to listen to audiobooks primarily. Uh, of course, physical books. And someone even asked about eBooks. However, you consume your books. It is all welcome. And interestingly enough, this is what I love about people. What I find so interesting about people. I use the word consume 
in my last episode. And <laughs> in the span of about 10 comments, there was one comment from someone who said um, that she experiences her books and she went on with her comment and said that she's a little put off by the phrase consume. And um, I replied to her with a list of synonyms um, since consume was not to her taste. And a couple of comments below that was someone that said, consume, oh my gosh, I absolutely love that. That is what I do. I consume books. I devour them. I inhale them. And I thought, yes, <laughs> it's just so interesting what words and phrases um speak to us and don't speak to us, um, excite us and turn us off. This feeds right into, and I, I really wanted to bring that example to the episode today because that really feeds my love of words and phrases and books. Um, what a book I may read may be the best thing I've ever read and someone out there may say, oh my gosh, are you kidding? That was watching paint dry. So it's just the beauty and love of all of this and bringing everybody together to share. So go and visit the Ravelry group. Um, again, lots of threads, book recommendations, yarn dyers, pattern patterns that um, are book themed, etc. So it's all over there. Um, I don't think you can really use hashtags so much on Ravelry, um, but there is a hashtag on Instagram and there are a lot of people that are joining in on Instagram. Feel free to jump in and out of whichever one suits you. You do not have to be on one and not the other. You don't have to be on both. Do what works for you. <sighs> so that is Cal News. Let me show you the marker because of course having a squirrel moment. So here it is on a pair of socks. So I was trying to finish as many pairs as I could before tomorrow, um, before the Cal starts. And best of intentions, I was able to get, I do have three pairs that I finished, which is great since my last full episode. And, um, but anyway, this is a pair that I was hoping to finish by tomorrow. And I know that I will in the next couple of days because I just need, so he, well, let me stop babbling. Here they are. <laughs> so um, I think I shared these with you a while back and I was knitting these to pair with book two and three of the Silo series. Um, I think it's Wool, Shift, and Dust are the names of the three books and the umbrella, they're cumulatively called the Silo series or trilogy. Oh, why am I blanking? Hugh Howie, I believe, is the author. I'll, I'll add his name um, and all the information in the description box. But anyway, I was knitting this pair for that cal and just never, never finished them. But there's something about the spiral. If you've read the series and you look at this colorway, you'll, you'll, you may be able to guess why I chose this. But anyway, here is the marker. Let me hold it still. Uh, hold on is. I hope you can see that. You know, what? I'm going to put in a still picture for you because my I feel like my finger's covering it and it's just shimmering. Yeah, it's a little hard to see. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe, maybe right there. <laughs> it's a little hard to see, but um, I'm going to put a picture in for you right here. And it says, I love books and sock knitting perfectly sums it up. <laughs> so that is the motivation marker. Uh, it has a tiny little brown bead. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh my God, without even trying. Now it's crystal clear. <laughs> uh, so there you go. So it has this beautiful little brown um, bead on it and I love it so much. So this will be keeping me company for the next couple of months and pairs of socks. Maybe a little longer than months. I, I absolutely love it. So um yeah, so there you go. And I know I'm gonna get the question, why do I have so many pairs of needles? So I'm knitting these, I had been knitting them separate and then decided to put them, uh, to knit them two at a time. So that is why they're on two circs. And this is in place because I'm going to do an afterthought heel. But I don't like to finish the whole sock. I don't like to completely finish the toe when I'm doing an afterthought heel because I like to be able to put my hand down inside the sock because I have a little bit more control when I snip the stitch to put in the heel and I make sure that I don't accidentally cut anything on the back of the sock. So 
everything is in place to finish these. So this is my whip right now, which may be put on hold when I cast on for the cal tomorrow. <laughs> but anyway, um, so let's go back again. What am I knitting for the cal? Let's talk about that. I feel like this episode is a little hodgepodge, but it's okay. Um, I am going to be reading the book, The Women by Kristen Hanna. And this is the colorway that I am going to be using. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm going to see if I can put the picture of, of course, the light starting to fade. I have a cloud going by outside. Um, but I'm going to see if I can put a picture of the book cover in so that you can see them side by side here. <laughs> but I think this is so perfect. It matches the cover so well of the book. And I had said that is not a requirement. Some people are running with that idea and matching their yarn to the book that they're reading. You don't have to. It was just a suggestion for fun. Um, but yeah, I am, of course, because I just want to. <laughs> so this is, um, the name of this colorway is Season of Love, and it's by The Cozy Knitter. And it's just so beautiful. It's so beautiful. So I will wind this up tonight and cast on tomorrow. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be knitting on. And the book, The Women, I believe it's about nurses during the the experiences of nurses during the Vietnam War. I think that's a during the Vietnam War. I think that's a very condensed version. So many people have recommended this book. I have read Kristen Hanna before. I love her work, so I'm really excited. And it is historical fiction, which is my favorite go-to genre. I tend to lean toward World War II England setting. Um, never an obsolete, absolute, never an ob absolute. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm very, very excited to get into that book starting tomorrow. I've already downloaded it to actually wait, I just realized, can I pull it up? No, you know what, I'll just put the picture in. Um, anyway, let's talk FOs because I do have some to show you. <laughs> I also think I should take a deep breath and slow down. <laughs> I feel like the first bit of this episode feels a little bit rushed and manic. Um, I'm just very excited about all of these really great things that are going on right now. This cal is is so much fun. My TBL list is has grown exponentially. I have been yarn shopping, which is good and bad. Eh. So anyway, let's talk FOs, everybody. So I know you all are waiting, and it is coming. I just have to find... A minute and I think I will be able to in the next couple of weeks. So um, I finished my helical socks. Ta-da! They are done. And I purposely did them um, in opposing colors like this. I know that may not be the word, but you know what I mean. So this was my original. This is the original one that I worked on and I left in the little blip that I was getting and the little gapping that I was getting at the heel intersection. And here is the second one. And as you can see, that little blip is gone. Oh my gosh, so excited. And all of that will be in the tutorial, how I managed to close that space, tighten up that intersection and get rid of the blip. Um, it's it was so simple, and I don't know why I hadn't thought of it before, but it's so interesting. It, I, I Sometimes when you're on Instagram and you're watching people knitting socks, like one pair after the other, and they're flying off the needles, and oh my gosh, and I'm thinking to myself, do these people cook, clean, take care of family, sleep? Like, <laughs> what is going on? Um, housekeepers, like, how are they producing so quickly. Um, and you know what? I suddenly realized one day that the answer really isn't important. It does not matter. I will knit at my comfortable pace. And, and I really wanted to share that with all of you because I feel like sometimes there's this, again, there's that comparison that, that steals your joy. Comparison is the thief of joy. And it doesn't matter how they're producing so many pairs of socks or how they're producing so many knitted things. It's, it's the journey, it's the experience, it's being in the moment with the stitches 
and enjoying the process that matters. And I so enjoy my knitting process. So I just wanted to say that. So yeah, and I do a lot of knitting and tinking, as they say, uh, which is knit spelled backwards. So I do a lot of knitting and tinking, aka frogging, to just figure out what I want to do and how I want things to look. So I think that may be why I'm not producing as many pairs of socks, but I'm producing socks that I absolutely love. And I love these so much. So this, the basically the helical knitting was done the same. I just altered, alternated the contrasting cuff, heel, and toe. And here they are. I love them. And this yarn was, um, the gray is Gray Gardens by Legacy Fiber Arts. And the cream color or the off-white is Vanilla Bean also by Legacy Fiber Arts. So coming soon, everybody. Tutorial will come soon. And if for some of you, if you really are, like don't wanna wait, don't wait. I'm. This is not the only game in town. <laughs> so please go on and look up um, helical knitting. There are so many amazing tutorials out there, which is how I learned the basics of this technique. It just, it, I just tweaked and, and worked on getting that heel just right. And that, I will share that with you. So stay tuned. So let me pop these off and go on to the next pair. Da, 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 da. Try not to shake my camera. So I think I also mentioned in the last episode that uh, I will be working that I'm currently working on a DK weight sock pattern. Finally, I've wanted to do that for a really long time and the planets have all aligned and it is happening. So I just finished that pair. Ta-da! All done. And I love them and they're brown and earthy and there's so much going on. Let's see if it'll zoom in. There's so many colors. I feel like every stitch in this sock, it's kind of dark a little bit right now, but I feel like every stitch in these socks is a different shade of brown, cream, gray, rust, taupe, orange, there's pink. There is so much going on. Oh my gosh, this light is killing me. <laughs> it just clouds are flying by. It's very windy today. So I think that's why the, the, the light is shifting so much, but Anyway, you can still see me. So, okay, now that we have the light, let me show you again. Look at that. Oh my goodness. There's so much going on. This colorway is so gorgeous. This is called Grizzlies in the Snow. And it is one of the colorways from the Naughty Pine Fiber Company's 2023 Advent calendar. Whew, that was a mouthful. <laughs> so this is one of the colorways and um, Kayla dyed this on her DK base, which is her big horn DK base. I think she will have this available. If she doesn't already, she will be restocking this colorway in her shop. And here is the pattern. It is super simple. It's super basic, but I know a lot of you can feel a little intimidated. You wanna get into socks, but can feel a little bit intimidated by the fingering weight. And I really wanted to do, so that was motivation to do a DK weight pattern as well as knitting the shadow wrap short row heel in DK weight. And the pattern is going to explain how to customize a shadow wrap heel, a shadow wrap short row heel based on the size or weight of your yarn. Yay! <laughs> so very excited to share that with all of you too. So anyway, two by two cuff, Here's the leg, shadow wrap, let me see if we can get that in, shadow wrap, short row heel. So let's start again, cuff, here's my leg, shadow wrap, short row heel, foot, and this is a, this is a rounded toe. I think I did a rounded toe. There'll be instructions for a rounded toe as well as a wedge toe. Depends on what you like, um, but they'll both be in there. So there you go, there you have it. Very, very excited. This pattern, hopefully, hopefully, fingers, arms, legs, toes, all crossed. It will be out mid-April. Um, pattern is written. It just needs some tech editing and test knitting and all of those good things to make sure that it is as clean and easy to follow a pattern as possible. So it's coming. Yay! So that was pair number two. Um, and can we just talk about how, these are so 
squishy, and it is incredible how fast a pair of DK weight socks can knit up. Um, and again, it's not about speed. It really is not about speed ever, but it really, they really do knit up quickly because you're using, you're working over less stitches. So it just goes fast. So last pair of socks that I have to share with you. Um, you know what? I thought I had them here. Let me go grab them. I will be right back. Another thing I love, yes, I know, we all know that I love scrappy socks, but what I really love are, that I love socks, but what I really love are scrappy socks. And here they are. Let me pull back so you can see them. These are my scrappy socks. I finished these, oh, good golly, Miss Molly. I think I finished these yesterday or day before, um, but here they are. And of course, I'm losing my light, but it's okay. These are, they're all opal, something flying around. These are made with opal minis. I love them. So, oh, there we go. Beautiful. Opal minis. I have, I had a bunch of them. The name of this set was Pretty Pinks and it was sold by Purple, oh my goodness, Purple Fiber Company. I'll, I'll put it on the screen and then of course I will link to, um, to her shop in the description box, but the name of the set was Pretty Pinks and I just love them so much. And, and it's all opal yarn. Even the heel is a solid because opal does produce um, solid colors. So you can use those for contrasting or just for your main, the main body of your sock. And opal really is amazing. It's not, I'll be honest, it's not necessarily butter soft, but that's never, uh, that's never an issue for me in my sock making. I almost prefer that sometimes because it's like workhorse yarn. Th these aren't going to wear out. So these are wash and wear, wash and wear, wash and wear, and the yarn will absolutely hold up. So in this set, what's really interesting about opal yarn, if you've never knit with it before, when you look at opal, you've got what looks like patterning in the yarn. So you'll get designs that have sort of a fair isle look to it like this. And as you're knitting, the skein, so I, these are top down. So the skein, even though these are scrappy, so I'm using different ones, like it maybe I changed maybe every 10 to 12, I think in here it might've been every 15 rounds. I really did not give it any thought. Once the color started to change and I either didn't like it or thought that was enough of it, I just switched to another ball. And what happens with opal is within the skein, it can jump from a pinkish reddish color. You can get the orange, then it jumps into like long sections maybe of blue. Of course I would stop then and switch to another color, but it's the repeats in opal can be very long, which is really interesting. So when, um, wait, my phone's ringing. Hold on one second. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I always do things in real time. This is my life and my husband was calling, so I took his call. Um, so anyway, yeah, I was explaining how the repeats work in opal. Um, so yeah, it's kind of, opal yarn is, sort of like the box of chocolate of the yarn of the of the yarn world. Um you really never know what you're going to get. And like what you see on the surface of the skein is not necessarily what's on the inside of the skein once you start uh actually knitting. So opal, yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. So here is my other pair. Anyway, sock exploration, my sock exploration pattern, two by two, leg, shadow wrap short row heel, um foot and rounded toe. I did do the rounded toe um, with this pair. So it's a gradual decrease to get that rounded effect. And I find it just fits better on my feet. And uh, yeah, this is my go-to sock recipe. So here we are, love them. So I knit these, um, that's what I wanted to say. I was kind of looking at my notes and thinking, these were knit as part of the Easy Peasy Scrappy Sock Cal 24, which is currently uh, happening on Instagram. And it's hosted by Jen Yard, who is Everything Shapes Us on Instagram. So that Cal, if you're interested in another Cal, that one is running until the end of March, I think till March 31st. And 
double dipping, poly dip, triple dipping, poly dipping, whatever you want to do. There's no limits in, in with me. And I know with Jen as well, there's no limits with how many cows you can be knitting for at a time. So if you are knitting a scrappy pair for the I Love Books and Sock Knitting Cowl, jump into Jen's cowl also. There's more opportunities to share, more opportunities to um, see what other people are knitting. Uh, if they're prizes, there's more opportunity to win prizes. So definitely double dip and see. There's a lot of cows going on. Um, so yeah, wow, three pairs of socks since my last full episode. Not bad, <laughs> not bad at all. And I want to show you because I haven't done it yet. I did not weave in my ends, and I'm. And some of you may be curious, like, well, what do the ends look like on all of, on with all that scrappy, uh, with scrappy socks? And that's why I don't knit them because I don't like weaving in ends. And do you weave in your ends? I knit my ends in as I go. I do not wait and do it at the end because it will never happen. <laughs> There's just not enough hours in the day. So as I'm knitting, I am knitting my ends, knitting slash weaving my ends in at the same time. And this is what the inside of my sock looks like. I have not cut the ends off yet. So when I get to, let me zoom in so you could really see. So my ends are quite literally knit in as I go. And I will go in each direction so I do it at the beginning of the round, come around, and then weave in the tail at the end of the round. And then I will quite simply cut these tails off. And I will cut down to about maybe a quarter of an inch or so. I'm kind of just looking at this through the camera. So about a quarter, half an inch, quarter of an inch. Just snip it off. I have never had a sock unravel. I've done this more times than I can count. My socks never unravel. They will stay intact. Um, that is how I do my contrasting heel. That is how I do my toe. Every time I change, that is what I'm doing. And I do have a tutorial. This technique was not mine. I learned this from, actually from Christina, who is the cozy knitter. And she had a tutorial on her YouTube channel and um, I learned it from her. So I then did a tutorial of my own uh, on the technique. And that is how I weave in my ends when I'm doing scrappy socks. So I will link to that in the description box for you also, so you can give that a try. Um, whew, I think that's it. I'm looking at the clock. It is about 1.47, so I have to leave in a little bit to go pick up my children from school. Um, but I think that was everything that I really wanted to share with you all today. If you are interested in joining the Cal, again, all of the details are in the last episode, which I will link for you in this one. My phone is ringing. Um, pause for a moment. Another phone call in this episode. <laughs> and I don't believe in editing this stuff out, you guys. Um, this is life. It's okay to share it. it it's it's fine. That was actually my son's school calling. Um, everything's fine. He's okay. So that's, that. I think that's it for this episode. Um, I will be back again maybe next week. Fingers crossed. We'll see. Uh, I want to share my progress on my socks with you. Um, I want to finish up this pair. I will get this pair going. Um, I also am hoping to do a, for the DK weight pattern, it will be a full length sock, but I'm also going to do a shorty sock option. So that pattern is going to be packed full of stuff. So uh, I'm hoping to get a shorty pair done. And um, yeah, that's, it's lots of, lots of knitting, lots of books, lots of reading. Um, and I will share with you in the next episode, the book I just finished. Oh, I think I've read two or listen to two since my last episode. So I'll, I'll talk about those in the next episode because that's gonna be all about books and socks. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, loved being here with you all. I hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, share your thoughts and comments um, and anything you'd like in the description box down below. Please join the Cal. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. There is no pressure to even finish your book or your socks. It's just to come together and enjoy the process together. Um, I think that's it, everybody. I will see you all really, really soon. Thanks so much.
Bye, everyone. See you all again. <laughs>